These glasses are a little bit of a spoiler for the rest of this video, but I'm so distraught. I don't know what happened. The first half of this vlog, the clips got corrupted and I had already deleted them off of my SD card on my camera because I needed the space for another video that I was filming. So yeah, you guys are jumping in like on Saturday morning, mid morning. I had already opened some gifts from Zach for our makeup birthday. I don't even know if I was able to explain it in this video, but if you're new here, my husband got laid off in February of this year. And so for my birthday and Mother's Day and a bunch of other holidays, we had to put them on pause. And part of our motivation and like our excitement for when he did get a job was that for when he did, we were going to redo all the holidays. And it's kind of what got us here. Um, it's kind of like what morale we needed. And um, so we're finally redoing all those holidays. We did Mother's Day two vlogs ago and today. And then in this vlog, we redid my birthday. So you're jumping into me showing you the gifts I got but I had a whole morning vlog and that's all gone because the clips got corrupted and and also the night before I had some cute like fall clips of us like walking around Target and stuff and that is all gone too so I'm definitely sad. <laughs> I still have the rest of the weekend so I didn't want to completely scrap this video so here's the rest of this video. I'm leaving off with me opening the gifts from my makeup birthday and that was the little intro. These glasses are a little bit of a spoiler for the rest of the video, but enjoy the rest of it. Okay, here's some of the gifts from Zach. Mama's pumpkin, and it says Mama on the sleeve. And then this is a Mama sweatshirt, and it says Addy on the sleeve. And then this is actually my favorite gift. The Lar Family Recipes. And you like, I wanted something like this. I said that to you before. I don't know. Do you remember me saying it? Or you just got the you just got the idea. But you like, it's like you like create your own recipe book, and um, you can do like it like there's like an index, and then like conversions, recipes to try, questionnaires. So I could like pass this down. But yeah, I, I cause I have so many. I have so many recipes that i get off of pinterest but first of all pinterest like recipes there's always so many ads it's annoying and then i usually like i tweak some of the recipes and sometimes i forget how i tweaked them and then i follow the recipe to a t and then i'm like oh, it would have been better if i remembered to do this or this and then if you don't know if you guys saw but this is the java sock if you haven't gotten the instagram ads oops if you haven't gotten the instagram ads for it you will soon so this is for a duncan medium which is usually my size or a Starbucks venti, which is usually a size above what I get, but worth it. And then he got me the matching like pint one for ice cream, which is so cute. So that was very exciting. And then I'm getting my glasses later. Well, I'm ordering glasses later, probably most likely, but they probably won't come in for a few weeks because obviously they have to like fit the lenses and everything, but and those gifts were amazing, and I'm excited to give him his birthday gifts, but his actual birthday is next weekend, so he has to wait. But baby's been sleeping now. She honestly could wake up any time now. So we're going to hang out and just watch TV until she wakes up, and then we're going to hit the road. But I love my gifts, and I'm so excited. Oh, then look at the card Zach got me. Happy birthday, princess. <laughs> One of the first birthday card I got, Zach, was also a kid's card, so it was like silly. All right, well, the baby finally woke up, and she ate, and she's nice and fed. And now, we're going to finally head to... Actually, first stop is Cadoba because we're starving, and Cadoba has a few... it's 3 p.m. No, I know. Um, and Cadoba has a few dairy and soy-free options, so we're going to go and do that. And then we're going to shop and look at glasses. But it's already... Three o'clock. So we gotta go. They kinda got away from Yeah, we would have been out of here if it weren't for Addie's nap. She took like almost a two hour long nap. We are very which she happy. never does. We're just very happy. But yeah, we're very happy about it. We're at Doba. I got my bowl. No cheese, no dairy, nothing. That looks a lot better than mine, except for minus the corn. And now we got our beef. A little bit of a mishap. Um <laughs> So Zach, hold on, let me just get in the car and tell the story. So I actually just ran out to the car to get the diaper bag because I thought Zach grabbed it and then he didn't. And we go to Cadoba, I pick out our food and everything. And before I go to, like I have one bite of the meat um, on my bowl and I got it all dairy and, dairy and soy free. 
and then I sit down and, you know, Cadoba's, you know, every, going out to eat, even at Chipotle Cadoba, it's going to cost you 30 bucks. So I spent all that money, Zach starts eating, and before I, like, take a chip, because I was going to grab a chip, I was like, they don't cook in soybean oil, right? Like, vegetable oil, like, you check that, because vegetable oil is a blend of different seed oils, one of which is most popularly soybean oil, because it's very cheap. And I can't have soybean oil because the baby can't have it. I can't have it because the baby is intolerant to it. She's intolerant to milk and soy, which is why I can't have anything with soy and I can't have anything with soybean oil. Now, for some reason, I don't know why, the FDA doesn't make it so that you have to disclose if a product has soybean oil in it because they don't consider soybean oil an allergen, just actual soy. Even though soybean and soy are made from the same things, they don't consider it part of the allergens you have to disclose about. I don't know if there's a conspiracy behind that, but anyway, uh, Zach had ahead of time checked to make sure that there were things at Cadoba I could have. So we go in, whatever, and Chipotle doesn't use, Chipotle uses corn oil, I think. I don't know. They don't use soybean oil or vegetable oil. We know that for a fact. So we went to Cadoba and I was like, you checked that, right? Like what oil they use? And he was like, no, but like, it's probably fine. It says it doesn't contain soy. And I was like, Right, but like, and he keeps forgetting this, but I was like, right, but like, you know, it, they don't have to say it contains soy if it's cooked in soybean oil or if there's soybean oil in it. So like, you asked, right? Or like you found something online about it? No, but Chipotle isn't. And I'm like, right, but this is Cadoba. This isn't Chipotle. So he goes up and he asks the worker. Sure enough, they cook everything in the vegetable oil or or the soybean oil. So I literally can't eat any of that. So Zach is gonna take mine to go and he's gonna eat mine at a later date. And it is now almost four o'clock and I haven't had anything to eat today. And I feel really bad because I know he feels bad, but at the same time, this sucks. Something might be soy free, but have soybean oil in it, which is why it's always better when we can check like the actual ingredient list. Anyway, I should have just eaten at home. Something told me just eat at home, but I was like, no, like, Cadoba's safe. Like, he looked it up, and he forgot, and I should have just checked. But anyway, yeah, now I'm starving, so I'm going to go go back inside with the diaper bag. But, yeah, that was, I'm trying to push through it. I'm trying to still have a good day, but, and then, of course, it's raining and gloomy, so that kind of puts another damper on it. But we're going to keep trying to turn this day around. Okay, well, we made it to Panera as an option because there were a few dairy and soy free sandwich options and I was going to get it no mayo because a lot of mayos have soybean oil in it but I didn't think that there'd be mayo on a BLT but I guess there is so I'm having to scrape the mayo off because it was already ex hard to explain the soybean oil and the soy issue so I'm just gonna scrape it off and deal with it. <laughs> This is really good. This coffee I got is really good. This is what I get. Also, these chips are actually good. They don't have soybean oil in them as well. So that's good. Get you a husband that scrapes the garlic aioli off of it. Which, by the way, I just looked up the like detailed ingredients for the sandwich. And it's a garlic aioli that has soybean oil in it. You still remember it. I'm not saying else. Yeah. Well, it's a garlic aioli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. But now that I know that, that Panera has like detailed ingredients lists on their website of like exactly what's in it, I feel better about like coming here. Um, but yeah. That's what I'm saying. I feel like Panera uh, would be a place that's good for this place. There's a lot of dairy though, but. Do you think like the way dairy has Panera promotes like vegan? Itself? Yeah. What? Promotes itself? The way Panera kind of like promotes itself. Oh, I know that there'd be, be like, like. A good spot for allergen stuff. I know. Well, it's fast food at the end of the day. But anyway, the baby is sleeping in her stroller. She just fell asleep kind of on her own, which was shocking. We were like, I mean, Zach were watching her like, it, those are, her eyes are closed. Yeah, you were about to get like her white noise machine. Yeah, I was going to get her white noise machine out, but she did not need it. So we're sitting in Panera for a little bit and then we'll venture out. Did but you, Did you want to try the lettuce? Did you wait? Did you... I just took it off because there was a lot in where, it. Where'd it go? Um, this is a cute idea. This one's broken, but it's a cute idea, but look how dirty it is. So, it's less cute when it's disgusting, but it's a good idea. We finally made it! I'm gonna hit These are cool. I like those a lot. Keep, keep, uh, I like this. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's 
are cool too. Those remind me of the ones that used Oh, these are cool. I don't know. I like those. Two. I don't think they'll be my stash. They look cool. Yeah. But I like these. What are they? Don't think about it. You go crazy. <laughs> All right. So we went to Warby Park or I'll insert the clips before this. But I didn't order anything. I think I might go home and order them. But I'm leaning towards those clear circular frames. It is so gloomy out. We went into Trader Joe's and picked up a few th picked up a few things with the rain. What? Yeah, but the rain started to really pick up, and the the baby's starting to get mad, and like we don't know why. So. Anyway, I'm gonna just run into Sephora. I think I already know what I'm gonna get. I used the Ilia skin, skin tint, and the shade I use is like a little too dark. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in and try to get the lighter version. I do. And then I'll, yeah, I'll be in and out, but I have like a pretty good gift card, so it should be really cheap. Um, yeah. And then we were thinking about going to at home or something like that. Do you see it? All right, well, I'm gonna run in and out, I guess, really quick. And then you're gonna sit back here with the baby? Yep. Okay. Oh, but everything. We'll see if we end up going anywhere after this because the baby is not happy. Going at home to look at bar stools. We don't even have the space in our car to bring home bar stools, so if we like anything, Zach is gonna drive me all the way home and come all the way back to, to go get them. Holy crap. That's really tall. See, I, I wanna do one, a cute one. Like I want to do cute stuff. I don't want to do anything too spooky. Uh, Not this year, obviously. But she's awake. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Completely. So. That is cute, but look at the little shark. Oh, that's not Christmas. I like that guy too. No, I know you're right. Yeah. We will be back for those inflatables, though. Yeah. I like this. Yeah. I like this seating arrangement. Oh, this and this is like nice quality. Five? This is it. Or Imagine this in the corner of our like sun porch, sun porch and then Just like a couple of those chairs. Oh, I like that. That is nice. That is nice. I like this little bench. This is cute. This would go is this nice where it I think it is. Take I like pictures. these. Take, take a video. <laughs> one day we're gonna want to buy these things. No, I know. Your flashlight's on. Oh, here's the counters, the stools. I like this chair. Very nice. It's true. Do we like the art deck there? I do like that. Not for our house. I don't like the Metal. the pedestal. Because you know what's gonna happen if it's not four legs? Maybe or one of our kids is gonna tip it over. I like this vibe minus this I was just gonna say minus the studs. But and also it doesn't swivel. I like these, but I want like a back so it's comfortable. Oh I actually saw these on Amazon. But again, no swivel, and they don't look as comfortable. I know I'm jumping the gun on this, but look at these gingerbread men. Look how cute. I really like this stuff. Guess who didn't want to be in the wrap anymore, but also doesn't want to be out of the wrap, but also doesn't want to be in the wrap, but also doesn't want to be, also want to be... <laughs> yeah. All right, well, it was a bust here for that, but there's some other cute things here, so I'll be back eventually. Oh, the Christmas stuff already out. Addie, you don't even know about Christmas yet. And then we cut back to Halloween. <laughs> okay, so it's been like a couple of hours, but I'm heating up some chicken fingers or actually chicken nuggets. But yeah, that's kind of, that's it for today. We're gonna just kind of like hang out and watch Modern Family, chill, and then go to bed. Yeah, it was a really great birthday redo. So thank you, Zach. And um, I will check back in with you guys tomorrow, but tomorrow's church. And then we're going to Morristown for a fall festival to see Zach's mom as well. And so she can see the baby. And we're celebrating Zach's birthday because Zach's birthday is next weekend. So yeah, it'll be another nice day, I'm hoping. That's it for tonight. We are running so late to church. And in fact, so late that I have to feed her at church, which isn't a big deal because they have a family room where you can watch the sermon. So I think we're just gonna sit in there today unless the baby falls asleep. But, oh, we are in a rush. 
Okay, we are leaving for church. It's nine o'clock, church starts at nine, but our church is like actually five minutes away. So um, we'll get there a little late, but it's not the end of the world. And then I have to sit in the family room to feed the baby. So we'll see if we ever end up in the sanctuary. It's just the family room. There's a lot of like older babies and like older kids that sit in there and like talk and play during the service. And like the older babies like that are loud, that's fine. That's what the room is for. But for like the kids, I'm like, they should be in Sunday school because it's very distracting. It's hard for me and Zach to pay attention. But anyway, that's why we, after worship, go into the sanctuary just for the sermon because the baby usually falls asleep because she stays in sleep in the wrap for like an hour to two hours, but she's been waking up after 30 minutes in the wrap now. So we also don't know how that's gonna go. We're running late. I probably won't check in with you guys until after church. In fact, I won't. Yeah. Okay, so we, made its church clearly it is now after church and i packed up the entire car myself while zach was on his walk with daisy which i wasn't supposed to but he was running late again he runs late a lot of sundays but anyway we talked about it we're past it so i gotta get past it but um i had to pack up the entire car with the stroller the new attachment all this stuff and then um also pack up the baby everything I remembered toys, I remembered her teeth, I remembered extra diapers, extra wipes, um, I changed the clothes for her, her bow, like our Bibles, I remembered everything. I forgot a pacifier. Luckily, she did well without it at church and she fell asleep in her wrap. Um, yeah, we also weren't able to sit in the sanctuary this week because she fell asleep like quarter into the service and then she um, woke up 30 minutes after right when the sermon ended. So the days of us sitting in the sanctuary are probably over. We'll probably have to keep sitting in the kids, the family Come room. Bearing, yes. So anyway, all that being said, Zach had to run in to get a pacifier because I forgot everything. I mean, I got everything except for this one item that is crucial. So anyway, we're going back, we're going to Duncan and then we're going back to Werby Parker because I flip flopped on what I wanted and now I'm, I wanna try all of them on again. But I think I'm gonna order them today. You should. I think I will. And then after that, we're gonna go to Morristown to uh, go to that like fall festival. Hopefully it stops misting like this, but let's go. Put my hair back while I was feeding her. Baby fell asleep in the car. She's been asleep 30 minutes, and that's usually how long her naps are. So if she wakes up any time now, it'll be fine. Of course, we want her to sleep as long as possible, but it is what it is. Um, and we brought the stroller with the new attachment, and I couldn't figure out how to collapse the stroller with the new attachment attached, which I know you can do. So we'll have to figure that out, but she might be a big girl today. We're in Morristown now, and I guess we're just gonna find parking and hang out in the car. So if you hear the, anything in the background in sex, Jets game, I remember what I was going to say. I bought the glasses. I don't think I ever said that yet. No, I don't think you did. But I got the clear round glasses. They're like W-H-A-L-E-N. I don't know if that's Waylon or Wallen or like Waylon. Waylon. I don't know. Both, I don't know. I don't know. But that's what I got. And like I went back and forth a bunch. But and I was like, oh, like, I don't know. Like, do I want this? But like... I don't know, the more I like turned my head with it too, I was like, looks good like that. So, very excited. The frames themselves are 95, but it was 50 to make them blue light glasses. And I wear them a lot when I'm working, and I know that like it's just better for your eyes to wear blue light glasses. So I made them blue light, and it was an extra 50 because I have a strong prescription, so otherwise my, the glass, the actual like lenses would be like this thick. So to make them like, not like thick coke bottle glasses you had to pay another 50 to make them thinner so that was kind of annoying but um it was an extra hundred dollars for both of those things um but it'll be worth it baby's still sleeping like an angel but she can wake up anytime now and it'll be fine um it is 110 and we're just sitting here waiting for zach's mom to arrive and yeah we have another 30 minutes until she's supposed to get here the timing just didn't work out okay We've got a big girl in her big girl stroller. How do I look? You look good. Do I look like I have a big girl? <laughs> I was blocking my fingers. Yeah. Yep. That's a big girl. That's a big girl in there. Yeah. I can't believe it. Zach is putting the baby down for a nap. It's nice to be kind of quiet. It was really nice seeing Zach's mom. I didn't bring out my camera. 
like when we were visiting Zach's mom, just because I knew that that like isn't really her vibe. But yeah, we used her big girl stroller today. I can't believe it. I can't believe like. It's been 20 minutes since that, last, since that last clip. She, her crying got turned into like blood curdling screams. So I just went in there and tried to help Zach because um, we have this new system where like, if the baby is screaming for longer than like honestly five minutes, the other person will go in and help the person that's trying to put her down because you know, in case we need to switch off or the person needs a break. Um, Cause that just like is what we're, is working for us. Hold on. Here's my pizza leftovers. <laughs> I know this might be a cardinal sin for some people, but we're gonna sit in bed and watch TV and eat. We haven't, <laughs> until the baby wakes up in three minutes. But we don't, we haven't done this in a long time because the baby like sleeps in the bath mat. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't turned this TV on in like probably over a month. This TV is back. This TV probably hasn't been on since I had that fever. Wow. And that was what? A long time Two ago. months ago. Don't talk about it. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to enjoy this time. So I will check back in later, but that's kind of like it for today. I, listen, it is Monday morning. I didn't take my makeup off last night, so you'll need to literally excuse how I look, but I have to close out this video. Um, this weekend was super chill, super relaxed, super cozy, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's now Monday morning, so it's the start of my third week back to work, and my boss's boss is back, so I'm very nervous about this week, but hoping it goes as well as the last two weeks. Um, and I'm hoping this baby does well as well, because last night she slept for almost nine hours straight, and then I fed her when she woke up, and she fell back asleep for an hour. So I don't want to jinx anything, but I really, it feels like she's turning the corner with her sleep. However, it did take an hour and a half to get her down last night. <laughs> so, you know, um, we're still figuring that out. But anyway, yeah, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and um, subscribe for more vlogs like this and more fun videos. We have another fun weekend coming up this weekend. It is my husband's 27th birthday, so we're very excited. So anyway, subscribe and come back for the next one.